The topic of the carnivore voice is kind of funny and interesting, but at the same time, there are some fascinating insights we can divulge from scratching the surface a little more. A couple days ago, Dr. Sean Baker dropped this video about Dr. Joel Kahn, and in the comments section, I noticed some people bringing this topic up again. Why does his voice sound like that? And it's pretty funny, some of the reactions that came from the carnivore community. But one person said he did respond in the comments on a different video and said it was acid reflux from his previous standard American diet. And then I thought about it and I was like, hey, wait, wait a minute. I, I'm the one who asked him that question. So this is from a previous video where I asked him straight up, like, what's up with your voice, man? Has anybody ever asked you why it sounds so weird? <laughs> like somebody's got to say something, man. I'll be, I'll be the one that says something. Oh, well. So he said, yeah, it's acid reflux from a previous diet. I guess that's a fair answer. So what do we know? What do we know? Let's take a look. Then I, you know, then I went down this, you know, this dietary journey where I went from, you know, doing the low fat, uh, low calorie fish and vegetables, almost vegetarian, training three day, three times a day, just about trying to try to get lean. And then I went down to, you know, then I was like, man, this sucks. I'm miserable. You know, I can't, can't, can't maintain this. You know. Hold up. Let's pause Dr. Baker's dietary journey for a moment so I can agree with him. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I agree with Dr. Baker on this one. How many of y'all know somebody who failed on a fish and vegetable style diet? This experience is highly relatable among Americans, especially women. Now, I don't know about y'all, but pretty much every girl that I've ever known has tried to survive on arugula and salmon and something else stupid like rice cakes or something like that, trying to fuel your body and your workouts on salmon and arugula just doesn't work doesn't work and i guarantee if you go to whole foods right now there's like five white girls in line at the fish counter like i want the salmon can you please give me the salmon like please please all right so what happened next then i went on the paleo diet started looking i was like man bacon looks pretty good and then i went and i started reading some more and then i went on to uh you know, low carb, high fat, and then I did ketogenic for about two, three years. Because I think you do stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. right now. And then I just started reading about these people that do this carnivore diet. Again, tell me this is not everyone you know who's been down this rabbit hole where they fail on the quote unquote healthy, healthy version of low carb, and then they're like, "Man, I did some more reading, and turns out bacon's not that bad for you." Next thing you know, you're doing paleo, then you're adding coconut oil into your coffee now you're now you're on that high fat that keto how, i mean how, how many times have we seen this how many of y'all know somebody who's been down that rabbit hole so with regards to sean baker and his voice dr baker was doing the carnivore diet for over a year at the time of this joe rogan experience interview and he told us that before that he did the keto diet for two or three years before that, we know he did the paleo, high fat thing, and then back to failing on that, before that, failing on that whole salmon and vegetables diet or whatever, which we all seen. So, which previous diet was the one that gave him acid reflux and wrecked his voice? Was it one of those? So was it, was it keto or paleo or that, that BS fish vegetables diet that wrecked your voice? Hmm. So this is where I think a little bit of healthy skepticism comes into play. Because you and I both know that Dr. Baker isn't going to blame acid reflux wrecking his vocal cords on the keto diet or paleo or high fat low carb or probably even on the healthy fish and vegetables low carb diet. He wouldn't want to blame acid reflux on those diets because that might alienate his base or offend some people who are already doing high fat diets that are getting results that he would maybe like to convert over to the carnivore camp. So how far back are you going to put the blame on this? I mean, we do know he was in the military in Afghanistan. So if you're on the military rations, you know, obviously that's not going to be an ideal diet. Maybe that's when it happened. Or maybe he'll put it back even further than that on the standard American diet or some of those previous bodybuilding diets he was doing maybe back in the 90s. I don't know. I don't know how far he would put it back. But I, what I do know 
is that we can go back and look at his early videos on YouTube before he was doing the carnivore diet and try to listen and see if he has that distinct wrecked vocal cords carnivore voice sounding voice. And that's just what I did in the first video in this series. So let's go back and listen to what I found on that first investigation. Hmm? It's worth a listen. So let's rewind the clock and go back in time to Sean Baker's first video here on YouTube where he speaks from 2014. And bar, heavy bag, bench, platform for throwing some balls into. Uh, platform is uh, a 10 by 8. Got an Airdyne bike here. Storage for weights, a cambered bar back there. This is a Concept 2 rower. Hmm, what do y'all think? I'm not sure I'm hearing that infamous frog in the throat sound that people kept commenting on around the one year anniversary of the carnivore diet from the December 2017 Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, so I mean, you know, because I didn't know I was going to do this. I just started doing it. I'm like, well, I, I, you know, I've already done it. So I'll, I'll probably get some, you know. So you what, know, what do you just decide, like, hey, I'm going to try this for a month and then just you know, keep going? I've tried. I said, I'm going to try it for a month. And I just felt so good. I was like, well. And you've been on it for? So I, I started last December. So a year. Wow. So a whole, e whole year yeah. of just eating meat. God, yep. you got to do some blood work, man. I don't, you know, and I just, you know, I, I kind of, you know, just, I mean, well, well, I won't say I take some salt, you know, I'll salt my meat. Hit that subscribe button so we can talk more game. Now, this comment landed on the channel a couple days ago. Dude posited an interesting explanation for the carnivore voice. He said the same thing happens under prolonged fasting. RNA production needs glucose, so maybe the vocal cords don't get priority when doing keto or fasting because of reduced glucose availability. Well, in the case of Dr. Sean Baker, this is an interesting paradox because we do know that dude does some highly glycolytic activities, aerobic activities, exercise, talking about those rowing competitions, very competitive stuff. And so we know that his body is exceptionally good at converting protein into glucose via gluconeogenesis. A lot of people in the community are already familiar with this topic, so I'm not going to try to drive that home. You guys know what I'm talking about, and it is definitely glucose production is occurring and so that's an interesting hypothesis maybe it's getting directed straight to the muscles and vocal cords don't get priority I, that's a, a possibility I can't really call it it's up to y'all to decide whether or not you think Dr. Baker's voice has gotten worse since that early 2014 video or go back and look at any of his early videos and you can decide but it sounds like to me that the carnivore diet has maybe made his voice a little bit more worse, a little more crackly and dry and hoarse would be the best way to say it, I think. And I can say this with authority, guys, because I did a locavore, paleo-style diet for an extended period where I would get meat from people like Joel Salatin and from the pasture-raised farms out in the rural country where I was living at the time, and I was getting very organic, vegetables from local farmers markets and stuff like that I was very careful about that stuff when I really did fully believe in the the high fat diet the low carb diet and the paleo diet and I'll tell you what guys when I went from paleo towards keto my voice got worse it got persistently hoarse I had several instances where I lost my voice for a week at a time or longer and you can't imagine Unless, unless you've been in that shoes, in those shoes, how much that'll mess your, your life up because it shakes your whole confidence when you start losing your voice, your voice is cracking. Mm, that is not a road you want to go down. But the good news is you don't have to go down that road because other people have made those mistakes and we can learn from what we see people doing online. And guys, you know, I get comments on this channel about my voice all the time. This is a trial by fire for me, so I know firsthand about the horse voice from a paleo style keto diet and, and going transitioning from one to the other. I've lived it. And so in, unless you've lived it and you've got the horse voice to, to, to share that story, then 
you don't have to make that mistake because there's lots of delicious plant-based food options out there that don't leave you with dry vocal cords and screw your voice up or give you acid reflux. In fact, a plant-based diet has been shown to reverse acid reflux. And that's what I'm talking about around here on this channel, guys. You know what time it is. It is that time when delicious whole plant foods are getting championed. We're talking about potatoes, rice, beans, you know, whatever you want it to be. It could be vegetables, fruits, all the good stuff. Apples, bananas, strawberries, pears. What do you like? That's what I'm saying. But what I tell you what you don't like is that hoarse voice or losing your voice for extended periods of time. And I don't ever want to go back to that. It's the, not, the funny thing is that was the least side effect of my concerns at that time. So I've learned my way forward. Will you? That's the question. And guys, there's been a lot of new subscribers, so I know a lot of y'all haven't seen the first video investigation I did into the carnivore voice situation covering Jordan Peterson and Dr. Sean Baker. So if you want to get a background on how we got to this point, then check out that video by clicking on the thumbnail that pops up at the end of this video. And if you don't have time to watch it right now, click on it anyways and add it to your Watch Later playlist. All right, y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan. Next.